You see this little guy? This little guy is one spicy pepper. It's a habanero pepper, and I'm making jerk chicken today, so technically maybe it should be a scotch bonnet. Either one will work in this recipe, though. It's a spice marinade made with garlic and allspice and thyme and a chili, scotch bonnet usually. I couldn't find it today. A little bit of lime juice and scallion. So good. Peel two cloves of garlic. Just give it one or two chops just to start it off so it doesn't get stuck in the blade. And then that pepper we were talking about, the habanero, they're super spicy, as I mentioned. You want to remove the stem. And if you're super sensitive, you can remove the seeds or you can remove half the seeds. It's up to you, but beware, they are very spicy. I'm going to remove half the seeds. How's that sound? <laughs> All right, everything that needs to go together into the food processor. Garlic, habaneros. I have one bunch of scallions that I've already chopped up. Those can go right in there. Scallion is really the base for this, sort of like halfway between a marinade and a paste. It's kind of awesome. Two tablespoons of brown sugar. That offsets the spiciness a little bit, which is nice, and it also helps with caramelization. A tablespoon of allspice, this ground allspice, and is a very classic sort of island flavor, and a teaspoon and a half of dry thyme. Two teaspoons of soy sauce. I'm not actually sure if this is something that's in traditional jerk, but it adds a lot of depth of flavor. Two tablespoons of vegetable oil, and also two tablespoons of lime juice. Handy dandy citrus squeezer. Just blend everything up together to make a paste. Okay, it doesn't look beautiful, I will admit that, but it tastes fantastic. You can marinate it in a plastic bag, in a bowl, whatever you want. I have one whole chicken cut up into pieces. If you wanna put your plastic bag in a little dish just to catch any drips that might happen in case your bag is leaking, you can do that. I sometimes do that for safety in my refrigerator. I always like to keep raw meat and stuff like that on the bottom shelf of my refrigerator. That way, if there are any leaks or anything like that, it doesn't go all over all of my food. Pour your marinade in. All of it can go onto your chicken. I love the allspice in here, right? Because you usually think about allspice as kind of like a spice used for sweet cooking, and in this recipe, it is a very prominent flavor. Make sure everything is really nicely coated. All your chicken pieces get coated, and this can marinate for as little as like three or four hours and definitely up to overnight. Some people like to marinate their jerk for a couple of days. Into the refrigerator. After marinating, time to cook. I'm gonna cook this in a 450 degree oven just on a rimmed baking sheet. But if you wanted to grill it, you definitely could. And we do have directions for doing that in the recipe on our website at MarthaStewart.com. There's a little bit of oil in here already and there's skin on the chicken, so you don't need to oil your tray. For even cooking, I cut this chicken up into 10 pieces. The 10th piece, the two last pieces that make it 10 from eight is cutting the breast in half where the thin part is, and that way it just cooks a little bit more evenly. Some salt, you're not gonna need pepper because of all that habanero or scotch bonnet in there. 450 degrees for about 25 to 35 minutes, just until the chicken is cooked through. Golden and delicious, oh my goodness. So beautiful, so fragrant too. Wait till you make it and you smell what it smells like when it comes out of the oven or off the grill. If you do want to grill it, it's going to be fantastic. I mean, that is much more traditional. Fragrantly delicious, deliciously spicy jerk in your own kitchen. <laughs> jerk in your own kitchen. Jerk chicken in your own kitchen. guys, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to click here if you want to subscribe and click over here if you want to continue watching more great videos like this.